Okay, so I'm going to tell you about how I got some stuff for free. It's not fantastic stuff, but free is free, right? And if it's something I can't sell, then I'll either put it in a yard sale or give it away again, right? So I came across this stuff. Um, there was a property here in Duncanville that was a vintage resale place. And um, I don't really go by, go in front of that place very often. And it's been there for quite a few years, but she um, sold that property, a few others very quickly and had to be out by midnight. And how I came to find out this, um, it was probably 5.30, 6 o'clock that evening. And we drove by and there was this massive mound of mostly trash, bags upon bags. It had been raining every day. It still is raining almost every day, even now that we are in June in Texas. Uh, we're still running about six to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. And so everything was soaking wet that was outside for the most part. And, but there was a sign free, so it wasn't raining at the moment. And I looked through to see if I could find, you know, a few books or something. I wasn't planning on spending more than five minutes um, unless it just started looking more golden as you start digging through. And so the lady comes out and um, you could tell she's been working hard and she said, I'm going to have some more stuff coming out um, to the street. So if you want to hang around, um, you can pick through whatever you want. And she explained her dilemma and what uh, position she was in, that she was running out of time. It had to be out by midnight. And I recognized her from an estate sale I went to last fall. I was like, I know you. And um, so anyway, she explained what she was doing. I said, do you need some help? And she was like, I can't pay you, but sure, if you want to help, but I can't pay you. And I said, no, that's fine. Um, so you never know who you might be able to network with. I got a little bit of stuff and um, we exchanged information. So I have her personal number and, you know, when she has other estate sales, She's going to hit me up to see if I would want to help with an estate sale or if I want to bulk buy um, when she is done with um, some of those other um, sales. So I made a connection and put in a little sweat, um, actually quite a bit <laughs> of sweat because with the time crunch, you know you're gonna work five times faster um, and that can be dangerous. So I did flick myself in the eye with a, like a dowel rod. There was a whole bunch of them and it kind of got hung up on some other stuff. And when it broke loose, it just kind of whacked me in the eye. And so I had a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a busted place on my eye, but it wasn't too bad. And in all that junk there, I came across a mirror. So I checked my eye to see, you know, if, uh, if it was okay to keep going and so it was, it was fine, but um, yeah, when you're working that fast, you're, you're going to end up sore and um, possible injuries. So be careful. But so I, I worked till about 930. So about three hours of time, um, just as fast and furious as I could. So we're going to look through some of that stuff and see what it is. I am working on videos most of today and so with each video i will put on a different color shirt so it helps me see that it's a different video and um, you don't have to see me in the same shirt even though i'm doing multiple different videos today and that's the life of a reseller right if you're going to resell and create content um, there's different things that you do to be efficient so that's what i'm working on today is content to share about my resale journey and I am having a blast. So before we dig in, see my Doge coin cup my hubby got me. So I, you know, we've all heard of cryptocurrency, but so we've been kind of uh, learning and uh, getting in, just putting a little bit of skin in the game on some of these coins. 
And so he got me a Dogecoin cup. And so we'll see. Right now, all crypto had pulled back some and it's not going to behave like a regular stock, you know, a regular stock when the, the market pulls back, you know, 3% in a day, everybody's like biting their nails. And um, with crypto, it could be 10, 20, 30% pullback, you know, for a little period of time. But the gains are, you know, for a year might be 350% or 1200% in a year. So you can't say, I want this big growth and be shocked when it pulls back more than what you traditionally are familiar with. So, but it's been very interesting learning about these crypto coins. And so thank you, hubby, for my Dogecoin cup. I appreciate it. And when I'm not drinking out of it, um, I put my reading glasses, have them all over the place. So I put those in there too. And I like cinnamon in my coffee. It just makes it just a little bit better. So that's good. So in this stuff, I got, I don't know that these are brass all the way, but there are four and they are lamp pedestals or lamp bases and they could be like a bra brass painted um there's really no marking see there's a the little hole for the electric to go through and so i have four they would be kind of short um and i'm not sure if maybe they had like an additional pillar type post that would have been connected and then the light but nevertheless they could be made into some short bedside lamps and so there are four of them I don't know if I'm gonna sell them as all four together or sets of two like two for you know bedsides and then another two um, so I got this for free looks like she was looking for four dollars each but i'm thinking i could get about ten dollars each uh plus shipping so we'll check that out and when i go to list even though i kind of did a little bit of comp on this already um i will do comps again because sometimes when you go and you look up again you'll find you know more information um but so that's that uh, and i'll probably just take just some simple soapy water and clean up the bases where they're dusty and um, and that's it but i won't be trying to remove any kind of tarnish um, so i'll just sit these back here out of the way and i got a little fan so that will probably work. Uh, this won't be resold, but we have a fan that we can use. And uh, hold that to the side. This is pretty cool. So the box itself, this box is damaged, um, but it is the original, um, case for these um, architectural digest magazines and there are six in here three are kind of thick three are average size magazines but they are 1984 83 84 and 85 and um, so I'll have to, I don't remember how much, but I did kind of spot check this and these are worth something. I didn't check prices for, you know, comps for anything when I was helping her because that wasn't the mission and she was going to put them in the trash anyway. So here's this one. And, but, um, architectural magazines, um, seem to be a thing. I didn't really realize that 
people would like these. So, and this one just has like a marble looking studio home on the front. This one's pretty thick. This one has a garden on the front, but whoops. Yeah. In case you want to resubscribe. Um, so that's that. I don't remember if this was going to be like 25 35 40 dollars i don't remember something like that maybe more plus shipping i'll have i don't remember Mikito, what you doing huh what are you doing you want to say hi come here come here oh it's a party come here you can say hi Mikito, what's a party it's a good boy, huh? Yeah? What do you think? Are you looking around? Oh, it's a good boy. It's a good boy? What do you see? Hmm? Okay. Say bye bye. There you go. Go play. Oh, she got a sneeze. Okay. Okay. Then I just grabbed these because they shouldn't be in the trash. Um, we'll figure out which ones that we could use or share with friends and family. Um, there's one of those, this one, another three plug, another three plug. Um, sometimes you need one of these that you can tighten down. I know like even just the dishwasher the hose that goes from the dishwasher to the sink there's usually one of these on there um, so there's different sizes that'll work here's a small little six foot tape measure nothing exciting yet I always need a little bit of wire um, I do a lot of the repairs around the house so Here's a little bit thicker wire, some screws and other types of screws, wall hanging stuff, nothing eventful, but I'll look through what I already have uh, for myself and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to share. And that will be that. And... I didn't look this up, but it is sealed. It needs to be wiped down. It's a little dusty. You'd be surprised what people buy, but it says free home phone service. So I'll have to check this out. I don't know if this is actually worth anything, but it is still sealed. And I will probably keep this little box because it opens and closes really good. And it just has a variety of little stuff to hang pictures or whatever then I got this two bin uh, white thing white storage container and it has drill bits and hex keys, a whole bunch of little teeny tiny little wrenches. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but a few other sockets like for car repairs. Um, hmm. This is like an, this is an ice pick or a leather punch a lot of people use it for, but it says ice on it save with ice food flavor 
honey. Hmm. Air, uh, something. Buy the new air conditioned ice refrigerator. This is old. This is old. Cold alone is not enough. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh, and this one has a wood handle too, but no advertisement on it. So I'll probably have to check out these. See if these are worth anything. And hex keys, some wrenches, a couple more small tape measures. So sometimes you need that. And the rest in here, I would say, is kind of uneventful. Oh, get in there, get in there. Okay. Then I picked up more tools. So I will redo my tool bag and toolbox. I don't think I have one of these. So that helps me. I liked this because it comes back by itself. So I'll probably keep that for me. I will have to look this up. I don't know if it's old, um, but it says oil filled. Uh, I don't know if it's missing something, but it's a sharpening stone. And hmm. Yeah. Can't see the number, but yep, so sharpening stone. A whole bunch of hammers. Um like there's literally a whole bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hammers. Two of them say hickory on the side. So I will probably figure out how to share these hammers so they didn't end up in the trash. Close that up. Then I got some fragile stickers. Something I can hang. Some posters. Some yard sale stickers, which I'm going to have a yard sale. And that's kind of nothingness. Okay, here's some other stuff. This needs to be cleaned, but it's um, Pyrex. And I'll have to look, it looks like it's for a lamp or something. I, I don't know. I'll have to look it up, but this is all there is to it. I don't see any cracks or anything. It's just dirty. So that's that. And I'll have to look these up and see if I held on to them to sell them. Um, or if I'll get rid of them in a yard sale. Um, there's a bunch of silverware in here. I don't want to dig in it because there are some knives, but there's some old silver and some that's not so old. This is a little bit cool. Here's an ice cream scoop. Um, safety Cone Dipper, Chicago, Illinois. So I probably have the light a little too bright. Uh, so that's that. There's a little knife, some old scissors. That pair of scissors is really old, but it's super rusted. Like very, very rusty. But, so we'll check that out. And I have not cleaned this yet. Let me move my coffee up here next to the kitty cat okay um 
this is like a wool skirt and the brand says Michelle I haven't looked looked it up yet but the fact that she uh, was a vintage reseller I wanted to look this up I don't know if it's just a long wool skirt or if it's like an Amish or something uh, skirt because there was also this um, white skirt and it's the brand is carry back um, so I have to look look this up and it has um, some detail on there and then there's a top that goes to it here so I have to have to see she has some prices on these she has $13 on the top and 13 on the bottom but I don't know how long ago she may have tagged these and they just never moved right so I have to look them up and see do, you know what are they worth separately or all together and make a decision on that and um, some work gloves so I will probably keep those uh, a few books city days city ways looks like it's from the 50s <laughs> cute little book um, the man from Nazareth I don't know that this is really worth anything it has an old sticker of two dollars on it um, Southwestern Bell Colonial 45th annual um, golf magazine 1991 so this might be something um, let's explore canned food hmm for seventh eighth and ninth grade I have to check that out so let's see encyclopedia of gardening there's a couple books here I don't know what that's worth this may be worth more than the garden book garden book might not be worth anything but this is a Bloomingdale's book of home decor and uh, the paper cover is a little tattered some of the photos are in black and white um, let's see what year is this this is 1973 so yeah this might be worth something 1973 um, decorating book here's an old um, little birthday card for a six-year-old and it was meant to like stand on their dresser and it I guess it was from their dad because they wrote daddy on the side and that was it that's all they had to say I guess so that's that and hmm another old book the paper cover is very tattered and discolored uh, from heat or something but it says wait the withering rain studies in the conditions of survival and peace beyond 1976 we'll see i don't know they put a sticker in here of 9.95 I don't know we'll have to check it out then I have if I don't trap myself over here um, this has uh, some damage but it they marked it as $37 on the front $30 on the back South Carolina Jamboree cakewalk 
sheet music. Um, so I don't know. Windsor Music Company. I'll light that up here so I don't crease it. This is probably not worth anything. It looks modern, but I'll check it out. Zelda, a very thin little Zelda scholastic book. And a brand new pack of Xerox premium photo paper. 100 pack. And another 100 pack of paper. So I got that. And I probably won't pronounce this right, but it says Inoshima. And it probably has a little bit of damage, but um, it's felt and painted. So she had a $3 sticker, but again, when and is it more damaged now or is it still going to be worth something? I got Tommy Dorsey, um, a little booklet. So it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. And I got, did you ever see a dream walking? This sheet music. This one has a little bit of damage in a couple of places, but rain. This looks kind of funny. I see chalk on it. It looks like chalk. I'm not sure. March of the Snowman. Sheet music. Hmm. <laughs> How about this one? Strangers. The first big hit for 1932, All of Me. Interesting. Then this one, First National Tour 1970. Oh, there's a print in here. Oh, that's, they're a little bit, they're a little bit bent, but not too bad. Oh, wow. Um, the Royal Lipizzan Stallion Show. See, the back has some damage on it. But I would think somebody who likes horses would really like this. So it has stuff about the different performers. Hmm. Okay, and there are two. They're identical. This one doesn't have the water damage on the back. Um, yeah, and this one has some spots on the front and then the damage on the back. So this one's in better shape, but it had these two photographs one of them has the Royal Lipizzan Stallion. Uh, don't know his name, but look at that horse. Isn't he just fantastic? Wow. And, and then it has the whole team. So that's very interesting. 
Then what is this? Minerva Stitches and Style. So this is kind of a pretty thick magazine. Um, Here's the, the front, and here's the back. Here's a Polaroid pictures with um, roll film camera. How to make better pictures with roll film Polaroid. So we'll have to see about that. And what is this? Double Fun Sounder, Advanced Sounder Book, Double Note Harmony, New Playing Techniques. This book was originally $4, but it looks like this on the inside. I don't know what year that is. A Link to Pioneer Heritage, a Relics magazine. And for better gospel music, write for a catalog today. It was like 10 or 15 cents for each song. <laughs> so like this would have been sold. Oh, it has 15 cents on the front. But. So that was that. I picked up this um, picture. I don't know if somebody would want want this, but it's a nice looking kid. Okay, so that's that's what's in that box. And I have one more box. Ugh. So if you're enjoying this video, smash the thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button. Um, click that bell. And then you'll know next time when I post another video and another shirt, right? Uh, don't know if this is worth anything, but we'll check that out. I got these two glass Christmas plates. They don't appear to have any damage to them. They are um, MWW Market. I don't know. They might not be worth anything. So... Uh, We'll check that out. Um, this, if it sells, you know, you see things for sale or, or sold, but you don't know how long it was listed, right? I think it's missing a few of the plastics, but, you know, some people may not have a big tie collection, but like this colorful piece, I think this goes for about $15. Um, and so I'll probably list it for $19. Um, and then wait for watchers on that. And then um, this dish, I don't know how good it is. It shows quite a bit of wear. But, and then here's the marking on the back. There is a number inside on the lid and a number on the bottom. So I guess maybe it was something at some point. So we'll see. She gave me like some stands if I need to use to stand for a display. So I won't bother you showing you all of those. Um, I don't know what you call this. They're super thin and they're flexible. I think you probably maybe you soak them and attach them around a basket or something, but I don't know what you call them. Should I 
try to list this or use it for firewood. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, so do you know what this is? They're really thin and they're real flexible. Um, I don't know what that's called. So somebody can help me out. That'd be great. And then there's two light fixtures here. Um, this chain has the ceiling base and um, both of these pieces, but only one globe. So I will try to figure out the age of this, the time period, um, and some kind of description. And if in doubt, part it out. I don't know. I could sell the globe or the base or sell it as is. Um, they had $50 on it. So I, I don't, beyond that, I don't know anything else about it. Um, this is a wall uh, light. And I opened one of these. So she said that they are hand made, but that I don't know. That doesn't seem to even get secure on there. But I don't know. I'll have to fig figure out this one too. Then what else do I have in here? There were these two uh, 1950s um, powder puff bowls like for a vanity and this looks like maybe it had something on the top in order to pick pick it up um, but so there's these two and there is a mirror so she had twenty dollars on the mirror and six dollars on this but when I looked up this mirror um, a bunch of them are going for about five dollars and this one has a lot of discoloration and um, some marring on it and then there's one little burst hope I didn't blind you with the mirror but there's one little damaged burst on there so I'll probably try to maybe sell this as a set instead of separately I'll set that over there and so that was it so that was everything I got for free and so some of it I will get posted online uh, so thanks for coming to see me and I'll see you next time thank you